Thank you. What's up, team? So today I got my new book. Guys, oh look at it, it's so thick, it's so beautiful. Kimberly Moses, enhancing the prophetic in you. Yeah. Yeah. See that? Order this cousins. Quality. So now I got a few pre-orders. So what I got to do is What do you got to do? Go to the post office today and mail off these books. Sign copies with an anointed per cloth. So yeah, got a bunch of these. Yeah, some of the yeah. So I'm excited, team. So you know I'm gonna be tagging and posting these on Facebook. Yeah. Instagram. Okay. Get yours, cousins. Get yours. Right. I think that's I don't know what trunk size that is. But I had to be, I had to be special. <laughs>
All the covers are nice. All the covers. It's nice work. Enhancing the prophetic in you. So support. Support Rejoice Essential Publishing. And Rejoice Essential Magazine. And as y'all know, we told y'all already that we do our audio books now. So if you need an audio book done, or you know somebody that need an audio book done, have them contact us. We will record them, or if they, or we will record it for them. However, anyway, Tim, what's up? What's been going on? You know, we ain't been doing much lately. As far as video wise, we ain't been doing much. But I'm going. I'm about to find something to do right now. Team, somebody trying to look like me today. You trying to look like me today? I'm gonna wear the same shirt, team. Come on. Shout out to Kevin, Pastor Kevin. Shout out, Pastor Kevin. Yeah, I'm trying to. Thank you for our shirt. I appreciate that. I look so rough, you guys. Like I need to wash my hair. It's so dry. She <laughs> look. She look rough, but she gonna put earrings on to spice up the rough. Yeah, you gotta spice it up. And I'm gonna put some lip gloss to make my lips pop. I told her that, y'all. Putting earrings on while you look rough is like being musty and putting, or bad, having a bad smell and putting perfume or cologne on. It's just not going to work. I'm giving you your ginger ale. Okay. Look, she think I want that. I don't look, want that, team. Team, they put me on a bad habit. Get me. Get you what? Tell a team. Tell a, me tell a team soda, the truth. The truth. And now I'm, I'm always I start you drinking soda. Yeah, every time I turn around, I'm burping. Ten. I'm trying to read somebody's yeah, audio book and I'm burping. I'm burping. Doing broadcast, burping. But yeah. I should have kept the bloopers, team. Matter of fact, I still got it. I could let y'all hear, team. Yeah, no, I still got, I still got so the unedited stuff. Well, she's just belching on. I mean, we're trying to record. Team, I'm so excited because. Um, you on my foot. I'm sorry. Thank you. We stepped out. A faith in faith, and we are doing this moment. Uh, I said, Women's Conference, Lord. It is a woman's it's conference. It's not. We're doing a conference. And, you know, we've got the radio station and things like that. Favor with that. I, I give God praise for that. Um, yeah, I got favor so far. People coming from from different states, which is a beautiful thing. It's mind-boggling. And we got y'all coming. Yeah. Yeah, the team invited, though, right? And, and God is doing tell the like, team. Tell the team everything they need to know. Yeah, uh, it's called Empower the New Me. Yeah, it's a conference. Four-hour prophetic intensive with lunch. Uh, afterwards powerful you know, revelation like crazy textbook crazy information that god's given me and i'm telling you just oh, you got to be there impartation impartation the presence of god on my life is tangible and uh I'm saying it humbly impartation you need power to cast the devil out you know and much warfare we go through and um yeah then we're gonna have workshops to empower us in this walk and this journey and then we're going to have a prayer uh pray ser prayer worship service afterwards and we're going to do a miracle service and god has been doing miracles and i'm just testifying amen to give the enemy a black eye uh lumps dissolving and cancer right, being healed and yeah just it's just really awesome to see that see it yeah so yeah you guys i know you haven't seen me in a while been busy we both been busy, me and Babe. That's probably why you haven't seen us in a, a while. Babe has uh, got a lot of photo shoots. Babe, how many photo shoots you got today? I don't know how many I got today. Yeah. But the one I'm excited about, y'all, I haven't sealed the deal on it yet, but it's uh, a wedding in Jamaica. Yeah, I'm yes, in Jamaica. Yes, yes. I'm excited. Make sure my calendar free. Yeah, I ain't taking no dates. We going to Jamaica. Yeah, so. Jamaica. Yeah, so let's go. <laughs> yeah, so, um, or is it cold outside? No, I don't look cold. Yeah, it's not cold right now, but yeah, you know, this weather out here has been funny, you guys. It'd be cold one day, hot the next day, like seriously. And I don't know, I just want to, I'm ready for it just to be hot for real, for real, just be hot. Yeah. So, um, when I get back home tonight, uh, 
going to wash my head. I have an interview in the morning. So I just, I'm really thankful for that. And I can't be on camera just any kind of way, like for an interview, for a ministry interview. Yeah, so I'm going to do something to my head, wash it, so my hair can start flowing, you know. And I've been taking that bio team. You got a heat? No. You open your own door? That's what you do? That's what you do? No, I'm sorry. I tried to open my door, babe. It's getting on me. <laughs> sorry, babe. I just want to sit down and be comfortable. As I talk to the team. I slammed my door. Jesus. Yeah. So, let me buckle up. Safety first, right? toasty in here yeah, anyways team i think tonight we'll probably have taco bell i don't feel like cooking i don't even have time to cook honestly but huh. yeah. i got time i just haven't really been cooking you guys i just been so busy we want taco bell yeah better have my phone all right i gotta find my phone yeah i gotta go respond to some stuff text and play my farm game that's my free time down you know it's all the time i'm building team i'm building yeah i'm building yeah big farm that's that's my game mobile big farm mobile don't play yo it's to me it's i'm hooked i, I can't get enough of it like you know and then i join this uh co-op so we be talking and you know all this just like <laughs> yeah so i feel like i got a, a new family other than you know, other than you guys, another family on the farm. It's a real family. It's a real family. Okay. Anyway, what's up, team? I'm sitting here making me some oodles and noodles. Kimberly went to go get the kids from school. I'm hungry, so I decided to make some soup. And I know everybody say that oodles or noodles is not soup, but please understand that there's different types of soup. There's not one type of soup. There's different types of soup. There's different types of milk. There's different types of cheese. There's different types of music. There's different types of TVs. Hold up, that's just wrong. I didn't mean to do that to you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't consider this soup, but look what it says. Ramen noodle soup. The soup. Campbell, hold on, I gotta, I gotta get a fork. Campbell's is not the only people that make soup. Now, I used to work at Campbell's Soup. I'm about to take, I'm about to take that off too. I used to work at Campbell's Soup. When I first moved down here to the Carolinas, that was my favorite, that was my most favorite job. I had a lot of jobs saying, but that was my most favorite job. It was not the best paying job, but I think it's more important to be doing something you like. And I worked in a department called Carrots and Potatoes. And what we did was push barrels, 800, 900 pound barrels with wheels on it to the cooks. We would put it on this big scale, press a button, and it would either dump carrots in it or dump potatoes in it, according to what you wanted for your barrel. Then, you push the barrel down to the cook, and there'd be a long line of stuff because now the, the uh, cook got other barrels there from other departments. So he got seasonings there. He got different stuff there. And, um, and then they dump all that stuff. They dump all that stuff in, in a kettle. They dump all that stuff in a kettle, and it cook. It cook right there in the kettle. Then it go up through tubes into cans and they cook again in the can and then it goes to another department. So anyway, tell them about Campbell's Soup. That's my most favorite job. You talking to the team? Yeah, I'm talking to the team because I'll tell them the team again, you know, we went over this, how a lot of people don't consider this soup, but it says ramen noodle soup. And I was letting them know, babe, that Campbell's is not the only people that make soup. It's different types of soup. Anyway, babe, say hello to the team. It's too hot. The weather's funny. The cold one day, hot the next day. Yes. Yeah, and it's hot in this kitchen, Lord. 
Just in the right. Baby, you got the wrong owl on or something. No, I don't. I just took that off the owl because I'm talking to the team. But the stove is still there. I'm going to turn it off, baby. Talk okay. to the team, no? Don't play me and put me out there like that. Oh, for the heat's team. coming from the stove. Don't put me out there like that in front of the team. Yeah. Anywho, you guys, been ministering today. Yeah, oh, sitting on one of my favorite Well, places. I wasn't inviting you to sit. I was inviting you to sit, come over something. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Sit down. Team, you know what? We have been neglected, y'all. Yeah. We're going to find some challenges. We're going to do some. I'm going to whip her in some stuff for y'all because y'all Team Tron. Fist bump. It's no Team Tron anything. It's Isn't Team it? Moses. Okay. I'm we don't so, do I'm no so. I, me, and self in this marriage. I'm sorry, Team. I'm sorry. I was going to accept my apology, Tim. Accept my apology. Yeah. But we're going to do the challenges to, yeah, have, we. to have fun. And we're going to do other type of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, let me get my noodles. Let me get my soup. She don't consider it soup. But it's soup, Tim. So, I'm excited, team. Uh, planning this conference. And I've got work to do, so I'm really excited. Got to get on the um, computer and send out a contract to a new client. So got to work on that. And yeah, anywho. Yeah, but we have, you guys. Yeah, we have been neglecting you guys. <sighs> I'm sorry. Tears. <laughs> then I'm, I'm getting ready to get, actually get on YouTube and um, respond to some of you guys. I have not been watching the vlog. I've been trying to... I've been so busy elsewhere, I haven't had time to get on YouTube, but I'm going to respond to some of your comments on the channel. Yeah. So, I don't know if I should do it here in this vlog or address it in another vlog, babe, about somebody asked me a couple of questions on that what is love video, so I don't know if I should do it here. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Good. So somebody asked, what if the enemy uses the person that you love to uh, control you or curse you out? Well, I've been there. Uh, I've been yeah, in relationships or I've just been there where the person you love so much, they cutting you like with their words and uh, just mean. First of all, you know, you are accountable for your own answer, uh, actions. You are accountable for your own actions. Remember, you can't control anyone, change anyone. Only God can change them. So you continue to do the right thing. You know, if you're if you're talking about save people now. You know, if you're talking about Jesus, you know, you love God and all this, and you saved and sanctified. You, we, cursing is not it. Cursing is not the way. The word of God tells us that anger lodges in the bosom of fools. All right. So you take it to your prayer closet. You know, even if your flesh gets ugly and you want to mm, say something back, you better not, you know, just walk away. Amen. Walk away. Take it to God. And God, if they have a relationship with God, that person, God will convict them or God will deal with your enemies in such a way where they would have to come back and apologize or, yeah, just take it to God. And if the relationship gets violent, then I don't encourage you to stay in that. I, so, because a, a, lot, a lot of people, believe it or not, are in abusive relationships. And you're, you're no one's punching bag. So get somewhere safe and let that person get delivered. And when they get delivered, you know, go back. I will never tell nobody to divorce their spouse or anything like that. Me. All right. So the next question uh, somebody wanted me to address. Okay. The next question is: um, God said, "Love the wife, and the wife respects your husband. Children honor parents." So our Father sets the order that you know He does. But anyways, the question was, you know, what causes the husband not to love the wife? And what causes the wife not to respect or reverence her husband? All right, I can't tell you 
why a husband don't love his wife or why a husband or why a wife don't respect her husband you know but we know that the word of god tells us to but maybe it's a flesh issue there you know maybe it's a flesh issue there you know um god is not the god of confusion and everybody is, is sad um everybody's not where they need to be in god you know uh some people they they don't allow jesus to be head of that marriage or the relationship they don't have any account accountability to christ so they do what they want to do uh their flesh is in charge of that relationship um just to be honest with you so i can't tell you exactly why a husband won't love his wife maybe he's selfish maybe he's uh fleshed out like carnal uh he has no commitment and dedication to god no reverence for god i can't tell you why a wife won't res doesn't respect her husband maybe she hasn't been delivered for something maybe she has um issues in her flesh that god has to deal with her where she feel like she wants to run the relationship and uh she wants to belittle her husband you know men they want they they desire respect and women uh we desire for our husbands to love us right all right but i, I can't tell you why you know i don't know everything you know so um yeah, so that is a dis dysfunctional meltdown. I, I do agree with that. Let me see. Does anybody, uh, any other questions on here? And I think that's it. Oh, yeah. In the person uh, for healing. This is a, a prayer I speak for right now for healing over your body. For God to cover you from your head down to your feet. I curse uh, the spirit of infirmity, I bind them up right now in Jesus' name. By Jesus' stripes, you are healed. I say you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. So, I love you guys. It's been real. It's been fun. This is...